Hi guys, my name is Christy and we're going to be doing Nike Training Club Mobility Training today. So a mobility training is really for your whole body so you can stretch and flex better and you can have better joint mobility. So for this class you're going to need a mat or something to lie on and no weights needed here and everything is time based so get yourself a phone or a clock so you can measure the time. I'm going to give you 10 exercises. You're going to do them once from the top, one minute each exercise, and then you're going to go and do them from the top one more time. So first exercise, we're going to go down on our sides. So go on, go on one side. So the first time you do it, you do it on one side one minute, and the second time around, you're going to be doing it on the other side. So you're going to start off with lying down both hands on the side, and then you're going to sweep your arm across to the other side as far as you can, watching the arm without lifting your knees off the floor and then coming back up. So the arm that is moving is the top arm and everything else stays stable. So you can have your head down and just go back and forth from one side to the other for one minute. And that's it. So for the second exercise, it's the hamstring floss. You're gonna lie down. Now one uh, supporting leg uh, is gonna be either bent or you can have it straight down. You can choose that one. But the other one, you're gonna bind your arms behind the leg. And now you're gonna rotate your uh, ankle out. So that means that my toe is going out. And then try not to turn your knee out, just rotate your ankle. And then you're gonna straighten your leg and then you're gonna rotate your ankle in and then go back down and going straight out again. So the basic exercise is the hamstring stretch, but now when you're doing it, you have that extra movement of your ankle, which is gonna um, engage your hamstring a little bit different angle. But again, be mindful of the knee so you're not actually rotating out from your hip, but you're moving only your ankle. So I'm just gonna show you one more time. Your start point is here. You turn your toe out and then straight with the toe out, then you're gonna turn it in and then go back down. And again, out, straight, and rotate, and back down. Now, what you really wanna see is that you're not pushing yourself up. Your lower back is down, and everything is nice and stable. If you want, your leg can be straight too. You're gonna to do first round, one leg, one minute, and then coming back, second round, the other leg. All right, for the third exercise, you're gonna be half kneeling, so, one leg is down and the other one is up half position. So what you wanna have is your body really nice and neutral in the center, so you're not arching your back or you're not bent here, so nice and neutral. First thing, it's a three-step exercise, so first thing that you do is that you're gonna go down to the front and you're gonna sweep up into a neutral position. Then from here, you're gonna rotate your hands so the hand so the leg that is front, you're going to the side and the same hand is going to the back and the other hand is going far out. And then coming back, twisting to one side and twisting to the other side. Up. So three parts going down, bring it up. Nice stretch here, reaching out and twist, twist. And again, going down, bring it up, reach out and twist, twist. Same thing with this exercise, you're gonna do one round with one side and then coming back the second round, one minute with the other side. So the fourth exercise is actually an exercise that we do a lot in the warm up. So you should, might be familiar with it. So we're gonna do the hamstring scoop. So that means you're gonna go front with one leg straight and the other one bent, going scooping all the way down and bringing it up, going all the way down with the other leg and bringing it up. Now, what you wanna be mindful of is that leg that is straight, that is actually straight, that you don't bend it even a little bit. And then when you're going down, just try to have that balance so your hip width standing and going all the way down. And now do not try to bring your uh, shin up, but release it down and then bring it up. And you're going from one side to the other for one minute. All right, your next exercise, we're gonna go down into a plank. It's the world's greatest stretch. So you're gonna start off with a nice plank. 
Now, you're gonna step one leg right by your hand. So don't try to leave it here, try to bring it right up so you can open up your hip. Then you're gonna rotate with the same arm that the leg is at and you're gonna rotate up, coming down, pushing your knee a little bit out and then going to the back leg and then coming back and switching sides. So going down, arm going up, pushing your knee a little bit out and then going to the back leg and then coming back down. So if I show it from the front, when I'm stepping to the front, I'm stepping really nice and close, but out and then reaching up, pushing a little bit out and then going from one side and coming back down. So you're gonna do this for one minute, going from one side to the other in one motion. Next exercise is the forward lunge with opposite reach. So basic is a forward lunge. So you step to the front, nice 90 degrees, and now you're gonna reach, you're gonna rotate and reach to the other side. So the side, actually it's, <laughs> it's to the side that the leg is front. So you're going to that side, coming back and coming back up. So going to the other side and rotating and back. So you can actually feel a nice stretch through your side here to the front of your thigh and then coming back up. Now when you're stepping to the front, be mindful that you're not stepping uh, a small step that you're doing this, but you're actually stepping a nice long step. Your heel stays down, knee is approximately on top of your leg and then almost down and then coming to the side as far as you can, watch your hands and back. So for one minute, this exercise. So your seventh exercise is the Buddha squat. So it's a deep squat going all the way down. Now, first you're just gonna find your position. Um, this can be different for uh, different people. So start off with a little bit wider uh, from your hips and your toes a little bit out. And then you just go all the way down as far as you can and then sit down with your heels down and pushing your knees out. And then you're gonna come all the way up. Again, going all the way down and sitting down. This position might be really uncomfortable for you, so stay a little bit up if it's that, and push your knees a little bit out, and then you might just start getting into it more when you do it for one minute, and then let's say you do this in several days and it's already better. So it's really opening up your hips. So for one minute, just going up and down. So the eighth exercise is negative push-ups. So it is a strength exercise also, but there's a lot of mobility in your shoulders and your whole body with this. So what you're gonna start off is coming to full feet, having a wide angle here with your hands and then going slowly down with four, three, two, one, and then pushing up. Again, going slowly down, four, three, two, one, pushing up. And you can do this with bent knees, but when you do it with bent knees, you start off with straight legs. You go down, four, three, two, one, put your knees down, and then push up. So even with bent knees, you're actually going down with straight legs. So be mindful again for the upper body that your hands starting off, they're right here. And when you're going down, you're pushing your chest right between your arms. So it's not a T position, but it's like an arrow from your body, 45 degree angle down with your elbows. So the ninth exercise is gonna be the hip twister. So you're lying all the way down. Now, hands are gonna be on your side just to support you, shoulders down, and everything supporting your body down. Now for the legs, don't have them close in, open them up. Now you're just gonna start rotating, letting your legs fall down and coming back. Now the key to this exercise is not bringing your shoulder up, but having your shoulders stay down and going as far as you can with your knees. So it's a nice mobility exercise for your hips and for your lower back and just going back and forth for one minute. Last exercise for this block is gonna be the hurdle steps. So we've 
done this in the warm-up also but now we're gonna go go back and forth with one leg so you're gonna start off with going with big round to the back and the minute you tap down you're gonna start coming back to the front and now you're gonna switch to the other leg so front to back and tap down and back to front and you're gonna do be doing this for one minute and again you want to be mindful of that you're pulling the knee up that you're not just going slowly down from here going as high up as you can going as round as possible without turning your body but trying to stay straight to the front and back and forth like that for one minute so thank you guys you did two rounds of these 10 exercises so your whole body is now nicely stretched and nicely moving don't forget to do a nice cool down so you can find our stretching video on the page and you can use that to cool down and stretch a little bit.